doesn't want to be in, in tie-ups. He doesn't want to be grabbed. Corey Clark's going to try to get inside on Nashawn Garrett, who is a four-time All-American. Clark, a three-time All-American. These guys have been so good this year. Clark has only lost once. Garrett, in his first season at 133 pounds, has not lost yet, and, he, and he's been a bonus point machine. But Nashawn Garrett is so quick. Corey Clark cannot blink, otherwise he might miss him. And that's if he allows him to stay in space. Corey Clark wants to get his hands on him just like he's doing right now. I said whatever for Nashawn Garrett, because I think he can do whatever he wants to do. All right, trying to get in on that ankle, and Clark just trying to get back up to his feet to avoid Garrett getting inside. And look at this flurry right now. This is the athleticism of these two, and there's the first takedown for Nashawn Garrett. It's a beautiful job there with Nation Gary. See, just relentless. He's snapping that head down, going for that spin behind, constantly moving forward on Clark, just overwhelming him with that speed. You get the sense, though, this might be a matchup with these two particular wrestler styles. You might see a couple of flurries, and we might see some scramble situations in this one. Well, you you will, and if Corey Clark can uh, stay off his back in the first period and keep it close right here, he'll be in a position that he wants to be in. You just don't want Nation Garrett to get out too far. Good map return there by Nashawn Garrett, who's got 25 bonus point wins this season. That was tied for the most in 133 pounds. You saw him trying to tilt Clark back to his back. You see Nashawn, he was going for that cross wrist roll. This is a dangerous spot for Clark to be. He was flattened out on his stomach. That allowed Nashawn to attack that wrist. He's trying to cinch it up now. If he can get it to that far hip. A good hit by that time by Clark. That's what you got to watch for. Cross wrist tilt. Basically, Nashawn Garrett says that's his go-to move. Oh, that's one of his bread and butter. He has great grip strength. Just locks onto that wrist there. He can really take you for a turn. Speaking of grip, Clark has a good grip, and yeah. he wants to get his hands on you. He's got to stay, keep the hands, fight the hands, and he's got to keep the hands on him. But Garrett, he loves the blast double, and you saw him attack from space right there. They were at the edge of the mat, and they went out of bounds, but that's exactly what Anthony was talking about when we talked about what Nashawn Garrett likes to do. He's a blast double type of guy. If I'm Clark, if I'm not engaging, if I'm not tying up with Nashawn, as soon as I break that space, I gotta make sure I'm staying low, keep my hands low, because I know what Nashawn's about to do. He's about to explode that enemy from that space, so be wary of that and break the contact. Corey Clark's a very good wrestler in all positions. It would be big for him if he could get a takedown here in the last 50 seconds of the first period. Was the runner-up to Cody Brewer last season. Now a three-time All-American is Corey Clark. And Clark is going to get tagged with a stall warning here. And Garrett just trying to find angles. He loves to attack from space, as we told you. And Clark likes to get in on those two-on-ones inside. You take a look at the right side there. Nashon's right hand is controlling that wrist of Clark. Clark is trying to tie up there, but Nashon's winning the hand fighting. Trying to get control of that angle. Still did not get the takedown. They're trying to drag him back in bounds as he wrestles at the edge of the mat. And a great shot by Gilman to spin away and avoid the takedown. That was huge for Clark, and if he can Get the last five seconds, two to one is where Corey Clark wants to be. Clark avoided that second takedown in that period in what was a very exciting first three minutes here. He said Nishan, he was in on that shot, beautiful job there, but Clark just way to keep that wizard nice and hard there. As soon as he lost it, right up, he's up to his feet, turned right in there. It's a nice shot, but defending it. Clark's choice will be on bottom. We saw him escape once in that first period. But Garrett has really filled out nicely at 133 pounds. He was always very athletic, very much in shape, very lean. But he has filled out nicely. He stays in on the offense right after the escape by Clark. Tim, you said it. He cannot blink. As soon as he got the escape, Garrett was right back in on the offense for the takedown. There's the escape again there for Clark. They'll go out of bounds. Good flurry again. It was escape, takedown, escape in a very short amount of time. Well, Clark did a nice job on both escapes, but you can't blink with Nashawn Garrett because he is right back in on him. You, you mentioned uh, Garrett coming up from 25. He not only looks better, he wants to be here. 
you know, there's a part, you know, after a, a few years at 125, you don't want to be there anymore. It just worked out better for Cornell last year, but he's at the weight class he wants to be at this year, and you can tell it makes a difference. He's a California kid who came all the way up to New York to wrestle for Cornell. Outstanding wrestler in high school at Chico High School. This is the fourth time he's wrestled at Madison Square Garden this weekend. He's had a lot of trips to wrestle, whether it's unattached or in opens here at Madison Square Garden. 105 to go, second period. Back to center there go is our good buddy Jordan Burroughs, the 2012 gold medalist, the Pan Am Games gold medalist, will be competing for the United States in Rio this summer, talking about how much he likes to watch Nashawn Garrett. He's certainly one of the most exciting wrestlers in this entire tournament. He took down the defending 133-pound champion in the semis. He pinned Cody Brewer for the fastest pin of the tournament so far in 21 seconds yesterday. You want to talk about a blitz, Garrett just blitz Brewer. And you know how Clark got here. He had a buzzer beater at the end uh, against uh, Richards. We saw Garrett trying to get in on that blast double and trying to maintain control of that right ankle of Gilman, who's now reaching for the right ankle of Garrett. He's got to try to close the gap here. Final 20 seconds. The flexibility of Gilman, or Clark rather, is going to be tested here. Iowa, remember, needs to get a win to make sure that they have a chance to podium because they're still trailing Virginia Tech. Real impressed with Clark's balance there. Incredible balance there. And what I was making, the you, you, you've got to wrestle all seven minutes or more to beat Corey Clark because he's got that look in the eye and he's saying, I'm coming after you. Garrett is so talented, so athletic. And right now, he's got a match on his hands. Clark has stayed in this thing. Angel Rivera, who's considered to be one of the best officials in the country, talking to Corey Clark. He got hit with a caution there going too early. Kind of wrap up Garrett, who gets to his feet. I was actually just about to touch on that, Tim. Garrett, he's been extremely offensive on his feet, going for those shots. Really kind of a woman card on the feet, but it still is a close score here. So if I'm Clark, if I'm Iowa, I gotta be happy right now with how close this match is because they're still in it, and this is where he wants to be, close, low scoring. Say it again. Nashawn Garrett trying to become the 18th Cornell NCAA champion. It went a long time without a title, 1960 to 1994, and the recent run with Cornell and Rob Cole has been very, very impressive. They've won the EIWA. And Garrett specifically has won it four times in four years. Just the fourth ever Cornell wrestler and just the tenth in the EIWA history to win four titles. 5-3, Garrett has the lead. Riding time not a factor as we approach a minute for the third. Garrett's backing up here. Clark you know, taking territory here in this third period. He really need to, he needed to get to the feet anyway and to win this match. We're trying to swipe at Garrett. And did we get a stall call? We did. Stall call against Garrett. Clark gets the point. That was the correct call right there. And that's what the, the new rules call when you're backing out in that area. Now there's that blast double. And that's what Garrett needed to do. Lives for the blast double. And Nashawn Garrett with another takedown. And now trying to maintain control of Clark near the edge. So strong to bring him down. Clark trying to roll through. And a good body lock by Garrett to make sure Clark can't escape there. Regains control. Excellent ride here by Garrett. And close to out of bounds they go. It's a mat return because Garrett maintains his position inbounds. And now it's going to be another stall call on Garrett. So Clark gets a point. This is the takedown off the blast double a moment ago. It's a beautiful job there, Nation on Garrett. Again, creating that space. He lowered his level down, blasted right through. Got that penetration, exactly the shot he was looking for. Rob Cole not happy with that stall call against Garrett. He felt that the motion was still going forward for Garrett. That's three stall calls against him. He's lost two points because of it. 
I'll tell you, I like the guts of both these wrestlers. They're giving it everything they got. Just look at their faces. Again, he's five seconds away from riding time as well. Clark gets the escape. So riding time is not a factor. Clark has to hurry. Nation Gillett is going to do it. He's been waiting four long years, and Nation is a national champion. to back disappointments in the finals for Corey Clark and Nashawn Garrett finishes off an unbeaten first season at 133 pounds career win number 149 only Mac Lunas will go down in Cornell history with more wins than Nashawn Garrett he had 150 Garrett closes with 149 let's go to Quint. Nashawn congratulations I know you want to join your fans how do you best describe your blast double that won that match for you. Uh, I wish I would have hit it more times in the match. I got it. Um, I'm happy that I won, but unfortunately that's not the way I like to win. And, uh, but I'm glad that it happened the way it did. Can you put it in perspective? The gold trophy is yours now. That's right. It's, it's amazing. Uh, so I dreamed about no words can describe the moment and the, and the feeling. I wrestle with the glory of God, expressing it. And um, I wrestle one with God, and, and um, it just makes me peaceful and have clarity. And uh, I just love expressing that truth and that life to people. Dominating season. Congratulations. Adam. Senior out of Chico, California. Went cross country to win a title. He began wrestling when his friend took him to a practice in seventh grade. He was a bench player on a football team. And he was a third string wrestler. But when he picked it up and beat one of his school's best, he decided that that's when he was going to wrestle. And what a run for Nashawn Garrett.